Thank you to the BJUI for featuring our paper entitled Likert versus Pyrads V2, a comparison of two radiological scoring systems for detection of clinically significant prostate cancer as the article of the week. Multiparametric MRI is an accurate, non-invasive technique for the detection of prostate cancer. The Prostate Imaging Reporting and Data System has become the most widely used scoring system. However, there is some evidence that five-point Likert assessment based on overall radiology impression could be a viable alternative. Likert has been recommended by the UK's National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence in their most recent prostate cancer guidelines. The purpose of this study was to compare the clinical validity and utility of Likert assessment with Pyrads V2 in the detection of clinically significant and insignificant prostate cancer. We identified consecutive patients with a prospective paired multiparametric MRI report by expert uroradiologists using both Likert and Pyrads V2 from a multi-center prostate cancer pathway registry, the rapid assessment and prostate imaging for diagnosis. If patients had two or more lesions, only information relating to the lesion with the highest score and its corresponding histology was recorded. Patients were offered biopsy for any lesion with Likert or Pyrad score greater than or equal to four, or a score of three with PSA density greater than or equal to 0.12 nanograms per mil per mil. Transperineal targeted prostate biopsies were performed using either visual or software registration. A minimum of three targeted calls were taken per lesion. Utility of Likert assessment and Pyrads V2 was evaluated in terms of proportion biopsied and detection rate of clinically significant and insignificant prostate cancer. Overall accuracy of Likert assessment and Pyrads V2 was assessed using receiver operating characteristic curves. As only a proportion of patients underwent histological verification, we also calculated partial area under the curve, calculated at a sensitivity range 60 to 100%. Differences in total and partial area under the curve were evaluated using the DeLong test and bootstrap method respectively. The primary threshold of clinically significant prostate cancer used was any Gleason greater than or equal to three plus four. Secondary thresholds of any Gleason greater than or equal to four plus three, Ahmed slash UCL1 and Ahmed slash UCL2 were also used. 489 patients had multiparametric MRIs scored using both Likert and Pyrads V2. 377 patients met the Likert biopsy trigger, of whom 316, 83.8%, proceeded to biopsy. 408 met the Pyrads V2 biopsy trigger, of whom 346, 84.8%, proceeded to biopsy. 17 patients did not meet either the Likert or Pyrads V2 biopsy triggers, but underwent biopsy on the basis of additional risk factors. In total, 373 patients underwent a targeted prostate biopsy. Overall, Likert predicted more clinically significant disease than Pyrans V2 across all disease thresholds. Detection rates of clinically insignificant cancer were similar. No differences were significant. Receiver operating characteristic analysis demonstrated that at the primary threshold, Likert was statistically more accurate than Pyrads V2 when evaluating both total and partial area under the curve. Likert was similarly more accurate across the secondary disease thresholds. Our findings suggest that Likert assessment is a valid alternative to Pyrads V2 in expert centers. Likert assessment has the advantage of more flexibility and allows the reader to combine non-pre-specified imaging and clinical data it remains to be seen whether implementation of the Pyrads V 2.1 update will overcome these limitations. However, there remains no scope for the inclusion of clinical and biochemical data within Pyrads. Risk stratification using this approach may allow reduction in unnecessary biopsies. We have shown that Likert is equivalent and may be superior to Pyrads V2 in the detection of clinically significant prostate cancer in expert centres. Likert is flexible, intuitive, and allows inclusion of clinical data. We recommend that its use be considered in expert centres once radiologists have developed sufficient expertise in reporting prostate multiparametric MRI.